Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. We're here at Speedway Motors. My name's Tim, and I always love it when you can stop by and we can talk about some of the great parts that we have available to you. Something that might help you out on your hot rod. If you cross paths with me any day of the week, you'll know there's one thing I love talking about, and that's old school hot rods. Vintage cars and parts, stuff my forefathers would have used. And today's no exception. I brought some flathead pieces with me today. So if you love flatheads, I'm going to cover two different things. I brought some new pieces, stuff that's brand new to our catalog, and I also brought an old relic here, kind of a rare cylinder head that I brought over from the museum that I wanted to talk about a little bit too. So hang in there with me. I'm going to talk about the stuff that's new in our book first. Check these out. These are from our good friends at Edelbrock. And I know what you're thinking. You're saying, Tim, I know what those are. Those are your, your 38 to 48 cylinder heads and you painted them black. Well, no, sir. These are right out of the box, just like you see them. Uh, Edelbrock decided, you know, they want to stay up with the trend. Black seems to be the hot thing right now. So what they're doing is they're powder coating these things black and then doing the machine work on them. And they come out great. It's a more resilient surface, which is wonderful if you, you know, spill some oil or some fuel, uh, you know, on your, on your engine. You know, you can wipe it off. You're not going to have to worry about paint bubbling off or any of that stuff. God knows, uh, you know, a little oil or a little fuel on a flathead. You know, that's something that happens every so often. Uh, what's great about these heads is they're the exact same cylinder heads that you're accustomed to that are in our catalog. These are the 8 to 1 compression cylinder heads. That's if you're using a stock bore and stock stroke engine. You know, they've got the big uh, cooling passages in them, so they hold a lot of water to keep them cool, which is wonderful. You know, as you can see, the, the great machine work on these. What I love most about our buddies at Edelbrock made right here in the USA and they're proud of it too. We'll look at a couple of these intake manifolds I brought along and these are the same story. These are actually black powder coat as well. They put the sticker right on them, made in the USA. I'd be proud of it too. That's wonderful. And not only proud of where they're made but how they're made. If you look at the, the way these are machined and cast they just can't be beat. It's just a wonderful, wonderful combination. Of course, I'm holding the super, super dual manifold here for the two carburetor setup, but I also brought the three do setup as well. Uh, you know, we both we have them both available in our catalog. So if you need something like this and you want to go with the black look, boy, your your hard work's already done. It's it's wonderful. Now we'll get to the old relic. This is the part I really love. I brought over a cylinder head that's brand new to our collection. We just got these in. If you are accustomed to the term or the company Federal Mogul, you might uh, recognize these cylinder heads. These are actually a Federal Mogul thermal flow head. And they're made out of a, an alloy, kind of a brass copper alloy and <laughs> these things are heavier than all get out. I carried this one over from the museum thinking no problem. I got about halfway over here when I decided holy cow this thing's a beast and it is. And you look at this thing it looks like it's you know right out of the industrial revolution. They actually made two versions of the thermal flow heads uh, over at Federal Mogul. This thing has a foundry date on it of 1936. This is a 21 stud setup. Not like the stuff behind me for the for, that's new out of the catalog. That's all 24 stud stuff, of course. But this is a 21 stud. So this would have been for like, oh, maybe a 37 or an early 38 flathead engine. But these things are just wonderful. Uh, you know, they've got all the casting and part numbers on them. You know, this all comes apart. You know, if you take all these bolts off, you can see all the cooling passages in these. Uh, but you may be familiar with the, the more common version of the thermal flow head. Of course, all of these are super rare, but a guy by the name of Bob McGee has probably the most well-known 32 Ford Roadster, I should say well-known for running a set of these heads, uh, it, but uh, you just don't see them very often. I'll kind of turn this around and we can get at the business end of these things. And you can see they're stout, but you know, really well made, neat piece. Uh, if you get to the Museum of American Speed, we got a lot of cool stuff like this on display. I brought it because it, you know, they were sitting on the table and I just had to show it off to my buddies and, and I wanted you to see them. Uh, and if you, uh, if you get into this old stuff like I do, you know, keep your eye peeled. And you might see a set of these at your next swap meet if you're lucky. So I thought I'd bring them by so you could have a peek. Again, we love flatheads here at Speedway Motors. We've been selling parts for these forever, and uh, you know, if you have questions, 
We're always here to help you out. Give us a call anytime. We have a great group of techs on staff, and that's our goal is to keep as many flatheads out on the road as possible. So we love having you here at the shop. Stop by again next time. Until then, if you have questions, write them directly to me here at Facebook or on YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube page. We're always happy to interact with you, talk to you, and we love talking about old hot rods, as you know. So I'll let you go. Until next time, folks, everybody out there, take care.